49ers moved up in the draft to number three to obviously take a quarterback. And then yesterday, they announced the signing of another quarterback, Nate Sudfeld, who, by the way, has never started a game in the NFL. He's, he's, he's been around like he's been around. He's the happiest man in the building every day on Tuesday because <laughs> he can hide it for as long as he wants. Listen, remember when Michael? He's 20, ben- hang on a second. He's twenty-seven years old, right? Cut by Washington, claimed by the Eagles, and you remember, of course, infamously getting in the game in the second half, <laughs> uh, where you <laughs> basically just playoffs. handed the yeah. division uh, to Washington. So he got a coach fired. And the Giants get frustrated by that, right? Got a coach fired, I guess. He's played. This is amazing. He's played it, since 2016. He's played in in just four games, zero starts. Tell me, man. So he's added to the Niners. And I'm. I just want to just tell the story, and then I'll I'll, I'll shut up. He's added to the Niners. We already have Jimmy G, as we know. Already have the number three pick, which could be Mac Jones, which could be Justin Fields. They also have Josh Rosen on the roster. They also have Josh Johnson on the roster. They got four quarterbacks already. Kyle Shanahan likes collecting quarterbacks, but if you look at this list. Not great quarterbacks, but like this is like just watching what they're doing right now. Just it's it's a head scratcher on many ways, but clearly they're taking quarterback at number three. Yeah, I mean you don't move up and give up that much future draft equity if you're not trying to draft right. a, a quarterback. Um, you think about you know the person that like I feel the worst for in all of football is Josh Rosen. He hasn't have been given a, a legitimate shot at all. I mean drafted. Uh, by by Arizona, mm-hmm. shipped off to Miami. I, th- I forget where he was last year before he even went. Didn't he go to Tampa? Yeah, he was in Tampa. Right. And then now and, he's in San Francisco. Yes. And he's probably going to be the first person out in San Francisco. Josh Johnson probably would be cut. I, I mean, how long do you want to be on a practice squad? No, that's the thing. Like, come Think on. about how he was in the conversation in the 2018 draft. I he wanted in, him. I wanted him here. He, he was in the conversation as could he be one of the top picks. He was in the top ten. I mean, think about that. He That's was amazing. in the top ten. He was considered one of the top quarterbacks of that draft class. And the the funny thing is, is of the is it four that were taken in the first round? Yeah. Is it four right and three in the top? He's the only one. Am I wrong? Yeah. Right, Josh. Uh, no, no, five because it's uh, Lamar Baker. Jackson. Yep. Lamar, Baker went first. Then Sam Josh. went third. Josh Allen, and then Josh Rosen, and then Lamar. Yeah, and out of all of them, he's the one that hasn't really played. All of them have played. He, he played some of them have first, been successful. Yeah. Some of them not. He wasn't bad to me his first year. He wasn't bad his first year in Arizona. When they he were came just a in. bad team. Yeah, yeah they're a bad team, bad personnel. I mean, he was learning the ropes. I mean, you. I mean, it's all about where you get drafted and if somebody's going to stand on the table for you. Uh, that's why you look at guys who who usually are backups that never can ascend. Like, who was the last quarterback that was a backup that got legitimate start time? I think it was Ryan Fitzpatrick when he was with Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. He was a backup behind Kitna. Uh, that they draft Palmer, then he goes to Buffalo and he gets a legitimate shot to be a starter in his league. That's why, you know, so much about how you come in his league determines a lot of time your path and how people view you. It's almost like being a linebacker or, or, or different position and they, they, if you don't do anything in the first three years, you're a special teamer. Well, the famous story, of course, is a guy who was the, the New England Patriots took in the sixth round, who originally was the third quarterback on the depth chart, and then within two years moved up to yeah, back up. Yeah. Or within a year or two, I think, moved up to back up, and then, of course, took over. Yeah. And we all know what happened there. He had a Hall of Fame career and is considered one of the best quarterbacks ever. That doesn't happen, though. Yeah. That's a fairy tale. Right, exactly. And it's like, you know, but right now, like, you, you think about a guy like Dwayne Haskins. Right, you know, who got a, a shot but may never get another shot. Right, that's what I'm talking about. But, but you know, it's not a lonely place to be if you're a quarterback that can't play and you can hide. You never you know, just imagine being Eli Manning's backup. Like you could, you literally chill it. Like you talk about guys. Like that's I hate the can, third. Can you shit. name them all? Who's that? All, all the all the Eli Manning. There were several. Backups. Well, I know I, I know it's Ryan Nassib. Yeah, I, for I know a while. I know David Carr went and, and, and stole a ring. <laughs> Like, oh, I got a, I'm a Super Bowl champion. Like, where? Don't say stole a ring, though. He was on the team. He had as much had to role. do. He had a much to do. What, go get the donuts? Make sure Eli <laughs> Coffee's warm at 8 o'clock? Like, stop it. You know what I mean? But, you know, you think about all the quarterbacks that sat behind Brett Favre forever, right? You know, I mean, of course, Aaron Rodgers did, and he got his opportunity. He was legit. But, you know, it, it's just one of those anomalies. Like, when you look at, like, Michael Bennett, he talks about the disparity of what Quarterbacks get paid as, as, um, in comparison to athletes and the other players on the team that do so much more. And they, I mean, you, you, you remember replacement players? Yeah. The third string quarterback is pretty much like the kicker. 
Like, he's over there while, while guys are running, busting their ass, sweating, conditioning tests, training camp. They, they're fine. Just like, rip, ripping darts. Yo, they're the only ones that gang muscle mass during the season. <laughs> like, you're like, man, what are you doing, P90X? Like, what, like, dudes ripped up. They going back in. <laughs> I, I hate the third-string quarterback. I hate the fact that these dudes can survive in the league for 12, 13 years. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.